in April of 1993. Our client learned that she was pregnant. She was surprised. She had been on birth control throughout their entire relationship. When she told Mr. Walker that she was pregnant, he seemed shocked. She didn't know what to do. Mr. Walker clearly wanted her to have an abortion and convinced her to do so. Our client alleges that Mr. Walker gave her cash to pay for the abortion and that she went to a clinic in Dallas, Texas. However, while she was at the clinic, she became overwhelmed with emotion. She could not go through with it, and she left the clinic in tears. When Mr. Walker called that and pressured her to go back to the clinic with him the next day to go through with the abortion. The following day, Mr. Walker drove her to the clinic and waited in the parking lot for hours until the abortion was completed and she came out. I really didn't know what to do. I was confused, uncertain, and scared. After discussing the pregnancy with Herschel several times, he encouraged me to have an abortion and gave me the money to do so. I went to a clinic in Dallas, but I simply couldn't go through with it. I left the clinic in tears. When I told Herschel what had happened, he was upset and said that he was going to go back with me to the clinic the next day for me to have the abortion. He then drove me to the clinic the following day and waited for hours in the parking lot until I came out. He then drove me to get medications and supplies as prescribed and then drove me home. I was devastated because I felt that I had been pressured into having an abortion. After the abortion, I felt that Herschel began distancing himself from me. I fled Dallas within days after the abortion and did not go back to even visit for the next 15 years because I was so traumatized by what Herschel had put me through. And there it is. Yet another woman has come forward accusing the purported pro-life Herschel Walker of pressuring her to get an abortion. This during an affair that Walker had from 1987 to 1993. Because remember, when politicians lecture you on morality and family values, make sure it's the ones who can't stop having affairs and being hypocrites on the issue of abortion. And just in case you thought that this was some October surprise by a Democrat operative, the woman at the heart of this accusation voted for Trump in 2016 and 2020. The reason she came forward isn't because she's some liberal, it's because she knows who Herschel Walker is and saw him lying about exactly that. She said, quote, particularly, I saw him state that the woman's claims were not true because he never signed any cards using the letter H. I knew that was not true because he had often signed letters to me using H. And on the off chance that you don't believe what this woman is alleging, you don't have to look far for proof because attorney Gloria Allred's announcement came with the receipts, namely a voicemail recording from 1992 from Herschel Walker himself. I was thinking about you. Uh, I don't know what I did. This is terrible. I'm calling from a uh, restaurant. Be the one who's got a phone that I can use that you can put something in and be able to call out. All the other phones, you have to have a, some kind of telecom card or something. I have the slightest idea what it is. But I wanted to call you on your machine and try to talk to you. What I can do is I'm going to try to call you back while I'm here, but I have to call you like early in the morning because it's late at night there when uh, I'm up and the restaurant is open. But I keep trying to call you. I want to say I love you. Okay. Bye. For those of you who may have had a little difficulty hearing it, I'll be happy to tell you what it said. Hello there, my dear. Sorry I didn't call you when I first got here, but it's been a pain. I waited six and a half hours at the airport till Edwin and Brian picked me up. We got here to this dump of a place. It's a ski lodge like place. No phones in the room, no TV in the room, four people to the room, which is smaller than your TV, where your TV is at in the kitchen. Put together, I think. And it's a dump. 
but I want to say, I love you. And I was thinking about you. I don't know what I did that's terrible. I'm calling from a restaurant. They're the ones who's got a phone that I can use that you could put something in and be able to call out. All the other phones, you have to have some kind of telecom card or something like that. The size I do what it is, but I wanted to call you on your machine and try to talk to you. What I can do is I'm gonna try to call you back while I'm here, but I have to call you like early in the morning cause it's late at night there when uh, I'm up and the restaurant is open, but I keep trying to call you. I want to say, I love you. Okay, bye. As for Walker, he was asked about the veracity of these claims on Fox News. All right, well, this was Gloria Allred came forward with this client. You're saying you don't know this person? What I'm saying is this is a lie. And I, I've said it once and I've moved on, my campaign and moved on because we're worried about what the Georgia people are talking about. Notice how he didn't deny that he knew her. Why? Because of course he knew her. Because his voice is literally on her voicemail. Because he very clearly had plenty of affairs and paid for plenty of abortions. So at this point, to claim that he didn't even know her would only further undermine what scant credibility he's clinging onto. And so instead, all he's able to do is just deny that it happened, which is about as believable as the idea that he's also a police officer. Now, just to be clear, Herschel Walker paying for an abortion or numerous abortions is not the problem. Dude should be able to pay for as many abortions as his heart desires. Seriously, if the guy wants to unilaterally keep Planned Parenthood afloat, that's fine by me. The issue is that he wants to take the same choice that he availed himself of away from everyone else. That's the issue. Herschel Walker benefited from having the freedom to choose when and how he grew his family. And now he's running a campaign predicated on ripping that same freedom away from every other person in America. It's not just that he's a hypocrite, but he is a clear and present danger to all Americans. And look, I could go on about how Walker can't be trusted to tell the truth about anything, about how he also lied multiple times about the first and second abortion allegations, even though the Daily Beast quite literally had photographic evidence of a card signed by Herschel, and a receipt from an abortion clinic. I could go on about how he's lied about being a police officer, even going so far as to flash his badge on stage at a debate with Raphael Warnock. I mean, the list goes on, but frankly, none of that matters because the fact is that Herschel Walker is running on a platform of stripping you of your bodily autonomy, of your freedom, of the same freedom he availed himself of, and that's already more than enough. And this isn't just a Georgia issue, it's an American issue. Herschel Walker's election to the US Senate means that Republicans will likely have the votes to pass a nationwide ban on abortion. And while we have Joe Biden in office now to veto it, what about if a Republican wins in 2024? We could quite literally be two years away from a nationwide abortion ban, meaning even those Americans living in blue states like New York or New Jersey or California would be barred from seeking reproductive care. If that doesn't scare you, it absolutely should. Because if Dobbs has shown us anything, it's that we ignore these realities at our own peril. So again, yes, Walker is a hypocrite. I don't expect that to be news to anyone. What does matter though is that if elected, Herschel Walker will make sure that you don't have the same choice that he had, that you don't have the same choice that he had the freedom to exercise. That's what's important here. Yes, he's a hypocrite, but it's that his hypocrisy means you and I will lose our freedom. We don't have to sugarcoat this and make it some referendum on Herschel Walker's character because what he's promised to do to the rest of us is already bad enough on its own. So if you value your freedom to choose, the same freedom that Herschel Walker himself endorsed when he used it not once, not even twice, but at least three times while deciding when and how he wanted to grow his family, then make sure that Herschel isn't anywhere near the US Senate. And do what you can to elevate the voice of the Democrat in that race, Raphael Warren who will work to make sure that you can exercise the same rights that Herschel Walker chose to exercise himself. Because we need elected officials who will pass laws that they themselves are actually willing to follow. Before you go, if you enjoyed this video and want to see more, please make sure to subscribe to my channel. You can click the thumbnail right here on this screen. And if you want to support my work even further, the best way is to subscribe to my podcast, No Lie with Brian Tyler Cohen. There you can check out my interviews with major players in the world of politics, including President Biden, Vice President Kamala Harris, Pete Buttigieg, Elizabeth Warren, Katie Porter, Jamie Raskin, and so many more. Plus other interviews that live exclusively on the podcast. That link is also right here on this screen, or just search No Lie with Brian Tyler Cohen wherever you listen to podcasts.